cocktail at home. It's as easy as finding a pint glass. You can use this to stir no problem. But for the sake of showing you how to do it like a pro, I'm going to demonstrate it in one of my favorite stirring vessels, this mixing glass. I've built my cocktail here. I need two additional things. First thing, I need a bar spoon. Again, I'm showing you my fancy bar spoon, but any bar spoon will do. I just prefer to have it have a very small twist. You may have seen them with a larger twist and I find it a little bit more difficult. You'll also need this thing called a julep strainer. Julep strainer has two sides to it. One side is going to be concave with the other side convex. I'll show you how to use this in a minute. Three important tools for stirring. Again, my cocktail is already prepared. The last thing that I'm always going to add is my ice. Keep a rogue ice cube. I want to put in enough ice so that it covers my liquid. This should do. Picking up my spoon, there's a very specific technique in which I'm going to hold this. If you want to look like a pro, you should learn to stir like one. Take your hands and hold it as so. So there's a gap in between your top two and bottom two fingers, thumb up. What I'm going to do is I am going to place the spoon under the top two fingers from your angle, over the bottom two, and I'm going to use my thumb to anchor it. Placing the spoon into my mixing glass so that it touches the bottom, I have the back of the spoon resting against my glass. Using my fingers to push and pull, I am going to push with my bottom two fingers while I pull with my top two. I'm just going to rotate that spoon nicely around the inside of the glass. The ideal stirring time is about 30 seconds or more. It really depends on how much water and chill you want to bring into your cocktail. Some pros will tell you between 45 and 55 rotations. You go as fast or as slow as you're comfortable with. And when your cocktail is amply cold, you should be able to feel on the outside of your glass that you've got a nice chill. Take that spoon out. Moving back to our julep strainer that we talked about, you want to put the concave side into your mixing glass or pint glass. What this is going to do is catch the ice as you strain. I'm going to pour into my nice chilled cocktail glass, the silky liquid, nice and cold, nice and diluted. Wash it off, we'll twist, and that is a beautiful stirred cocktail. Cheers. Mm -hmm.